And we do not take this life that we've been given and go away and waste it again on the things that displease God, that we hurt the very one who loved us and sacrificed his life for us. A high price has been paid to call us out of the world, out of darkness into his marvelous light. And for that reason, he gives us and fills us with the Holy Spirit so we may live out this new life, live out this transformed life for the glory of God. We may go to the places where God leads us. We may speak the words that God gives us to speak. We may think the thoughts that God wants us to think and behave in a manner each day that glorifies him. And that's why we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. The presence of God drives out all darkness. Somebody recently spoke these words and, and I guess it's true in some cases. And they said that most men in white the salvation of Christ into their lives. But they are hard pressed to drive out sin at the same time. We want to invite Christ and his salvation in, into our lives, but we cannot simply get rid of the darkness. We cannot simply get rid of the sin that is displeasing to him. We want to entertain both of them in the same life that we have. We want to entertain Christ as our savior and entertain sin and we try to force them to live together in this body of ours. My friend, if you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, then there is, should not be any room anymore for rebellion and walking in darkness. Are you with me here? But we need to have that thirst, that hunger, that longing, that desire. And Jesus says, let him be thirsty first. As scripture says, rivers of living water, whoever believes in me, rivers of living water will flow out from him. God, when he gives... He's a generous God. Do you know that? And when God gives, it's always overflowing. Do you know that? <laughs> and he says, I'm going to give you rivers of low, flowing water. We like overflowing material things. God gave me overflowing Blessings of financiers overflowing. But how many of you want and realize your thirst today that we've not come here for any because we have a material need, we have a physical problem, we have some problems in our ambitions in the world, but we have come here. How many of us came here because we are thirsty for God? They say that the churches are full when people have problems. The moment there is an earthquake and we are shaken a bit, our lives are turned upside down, we run to the church. Hallelujah, Lord, help us. Everything's okay again, we build up our lives, our things are back to normal. Mamayana, Lord, I'll see you later. When I have another problem for you to solve. But you see, the reason why we need God in our life is not because we have a problem that he only can fix. We need him because we were created to be filled by him. We were created to be used by him for his glory. We are his creation, created for his purpose and for his glory. You were not created for yourself. You were created for God.